Hey everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fascination, and today I am so fascinated to bring you my beef enchiladas. Oh, homemade beef enchiladas. Um, I can say, you know, there's store-bought product that I had to put it together with, of course. Um, you know, I was hoping to do a food collab with Robbie from Robbie P2. But if he wants to, let me know and then I'll change the title. But, okay, it's a good thing I sleep alone because I'm not supposed to eat cheese. But there's a lot of cheese. There's uh, ribeye steak in this. Um, chili beans. Some enchilada sauce. Um, chili sauce, you know, from the chili beans. And... Then I poured enchilada sauce on the top of this before putting it in the oven on 375 for 15 minutes. Ovens can be temperamental. Sometimes it takes 15 to 20 minutes. Wait, no, I take it back. It wasn't 15 minutes. It was 18. But anyway. Mmm. Sometimes these ones, you have to give me a moment. You know, I'm never without water. Um, <laughs> I always have water around. That's a good thing. Um, they have that lovely mix between the enchilada sauce and the spices that you cook with and then there's also a uh, salsa in here which I actually cooked I you can't really call it a salsa I guess um now as for the cheese it's the um Taco Bell cheese if you haven't checked out that Taco Bell cheese well cheese do it's quite delightful it reminds me of the Tillamook cheese, which is a cleaner palate cheese. Yes, I know cheese is cured in salt. But when it's made, that's actually cut off. I've seen the Tillamook cheese being made. Um, if you want to know... You can go to TillamookCheese.com or TillamookCheeseFactory.com and they have a virtual tour. I've been to the Cheese Factory before. It's located in Tillamook, Oregon. Yes, it is a tribal name. Um, the Tillamook, I don't believe, are around anymore. I've never seen them at a powwow. And neither are the Umqua, which is another uh, dairy producing Native American named brand company in Oregon. Mm. But this, my wheat allergy will tell me about it later. I don't even know if I could finish all that. Probably not. That's okay. I have containers I can put it in. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get a little full. And I only ate half of that one. Which, you know what that means? Food for tomorrow. Food for tomorrow. So, mm, I have the, the thinly sliced ribeye steak which I got for $7 because it was a really full package. Um, then I let that cook with, I let it cook down and I had put some liquid smoke with it and some water to let it steam, which is good for you, by the way. It is good for you. Um, 
The only bad thing about this is flour tortillas. I couldn't find any corn tortillas at the store, which was sad. But I had to make do with the flour tortillas, which is fine. Uh, the enchilada sauce is the old El Paso. I mean, I know how to make my own enchilada sauce. I just don't have all the ingredients here for it. This is comfort food. Oh my gosh, this is a hug for your stomach. It's making me want to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, let's see. I have made three more. Excuse me. Three or four days worth of food left. Now I only used eight of the uh, soft tortillas um, or tortilla is actually the crispy one but I used eight tortillas and eight tortillas will make enough for me for about I would say three to four days and now I have leftovers for inners, and then I also have eight more tortillas and some more cheese. So if I really want to, I can make some burritos. Um, I have rice. I usually put rice in with my burritos. Sometimes I'll put it in with my enchilada, but I don't. Probably should, but I don't. Um, one of these times I'll show you guys how I make my enchiladas. Today's been kind of a slow day. I don't know why. It just has. I think I had a bad night. Um, my back hurts a bit. Uh, so it's not from leaning over and stitching on the garment there. Um, which I have to finish up the back. I'll probably do that as soon as I'm done with my videos for YouTube and Instagram because I have one device sitting on top of the other device while I'm recording which actually works out so that means I'm speaking to both cameras directly at the same time oh and did anybody else other than myself and Morgan Donner experienced Instagram technical issues last night because you know, hey, <laughs> the hackers are ridiculous, like telling me that I may need to log in on my laptop. No, I don't need to log in. I'm doing a video. <laughs> These people are ridiculous. Anyway, don't worry. Maybe one day they'll get caught and get their justice. Picking on people. Innocent bystanders. Shame. And I'm somebody's grandma. They're picking on somebody's grandma. And my grandbabies are in quarantine right now for get, it's just until they're cleared. Um, I don't know if any of you are up to date on the news with this whole virus outbreak thing. But if my son had the common sense not to take his kids on a leisurely cruise... It wouldn't all be in quarantine right now. Son, I did not teach you that. <laughs> uh, I am about to turn my smaller device around so you can see the ridiculousness of these uh, hackers just bougie in on my screen. <laughs> Because now they have me locked out of my being able to uh, use. Look right here. You see that? They have me locked out from being able 
confuse. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're a bunch of ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know if you guys got to see that. But yeah, they're just a bunch of ridiculous. Um, trying to lock me out of my laptop for internet use. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, um, the history bounders, and I know that, um, Morgan Donner is part of history bounding. Let me know if this happened to you, because, girl... That means we both have hackers in our system. And what else is sad? So does the IRS. Hopefully they can track these idiots. Um, the IRS's system is powered by Google. Which means Google is infested. <laughs> and they didn't bother to tell us. I'm looking over here while I got a camera going over here. Oh, silly me. Anyway, which means that they should be telling us that they have a system outbreak, right? But that's okay. We'll take care of it. You know, we'll get it all better. And you know why? Because there's always good food, good people, things. We have better things to do in our life, right? Um, communities that actually reach out to each other. Um, like, Annika, Victoria, and her friend, like, sometimes, and don't get this wrong, I've been out of my wheelchair for 11 years, but sometimes I miss my power chair just to have, like, my own ride to get somewhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> just have my own ride. My own wheels to get somewhere. The only downside to that is how people treat you when you're in a wheelchair, and they're like... Oh, do you need... Oh, don't talk to people in a wheelchair like that. That is so annoying. My brain isn't dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, oh, that's a whole other video. But anyway, but for now, I just want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Have some awesome food, a lot of water, um, and don't get sick. Spices help with that. And I will see you guys in the next one.